What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything Red Dead Online. Today we have another XP method found by Blackwoods, another YouTuber. For this method, you're going to be in Sandini. The nice thing is that this location is away from the other locations so you don't lose cop spawns to other players. What you're going to need for this location is to get a... Uh, what are this? Wagon. You're going to need a wagon and take the wagon over down by the train. Uh, and, and the train that stays here, not the one that comes and goes and roams around the map. You're just going to take that wagon all the way down over to this car now i apologize it's dark uh the day cycles just don't always work with me when we're trying to do videos but take it to this blue train cart right here and then you're gonna want to back the sucker up into the ladder you're gonna close off one ladder to this cart because there's two ladders available now please forgive me for what i'm about to do Shit, what have I done? What have I done? Okay. It's a crime. I understand the crime. I have committed the crime. I understand. But it's part of the method. We have to do this. If you don't kill the horse, then he runs away as soon as you start shooting your gun. So you got to kill the horse. I'm, I, uh, there, uh, there's no way around it. This method works really well. All right. But yes, you have to kill a horse. Please forgive me, guys. Please forgive me. Climb up inside here as soon as you get that one side blocked off. And then shoot a couple rounds off. And what we really want to do... Can we climb up on this... Uh, we can't stand up on that rib rating. So, unfortunately, no cops saw us before we went in. Alright, so we're just going to go murder this guy real quick. Sweet. So, we just need to create an influx of police. And as soon as we... Get them coming. We're going to be good to jump inside the cart. All right. Now we got a few more coming. We're going to get up in here. Boom. And this, the nice thing about this area is that you get the execution, just like the place that I showed you in Blackwater. I know there's a couple places in San need to do XP farming. You don't always get the ability to execute. And the reason the executions are nice is because... You can still get headshots, but you get them in the form of eyes wide shut, and that's 10 experience instead of just the six from a regular headshot, as well as getting the execution, which is something you normally miss out on, and the kill, uh, the kill XP. So as soon as they start getting around to this other side, we're gonna have a good influx of them. I'm sorry, guys. We we're uh, getting videos done for Christmas break, so we can go back to family. That's why we haven't adjusted the webcam. I know. These videos aren't as effective when you can't see the um, the mini map. So what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is I'm just gonna shut off the mini map so you can keep a look at. Oh my gosh, Big Daddy just came over the top and blasted me. I'm gonna take the webcam off for the rest of the video so you guys can see how the police function, or I'll take it off for just a little bit. And now we're here. No, oh, get ready. And as soon as they come over, just stay. Oh my gosh, don't let them do that to you. Stand next, stand next to this thing. Give a little bit of space so that the officer can drop down. And then you're just going to uh, pull right trigger as soon as they get in. And hopefully you don't get a guy in here with a shotgun that's going to just wreck you. Like that just happened to me. Now, if you can time it well, what you want to do is let the guy climb in and wait for him to slightly pull up his weapon on you. Ugh. And if you time it well... You can get the eyes wide shut experience too. I, I honestly, I don't understand what differs the eyes wide shut from certain kills to other kills. Because sometimes you do the same thing and you get that experience. Sometimes you do it and you don't. So we probably won't get it on that kill. I'd be surprised if we did. We did. So I, I don't know. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. But it's 10 experience and it's so. this is so easy in here. All you have to do is just wait for them to come in. Boom. Dude, you need to come down here, buddy. And you actually get a solid influx of officers coming through this area. Surprisingly, 
It's a ladder method that works better than any other ladder method. Most ladder methods involve the cops losing you and not being able to find you. But because you're almost visible inside here, the cops don't lose you. You do want to be careful. Some of them will take shots at you, at your head, if you stand up too high inside the cart. For example, if I stand up here, sometimes they'll show me. As well as, some will get on top of this thing. I don't know how, but they can't hit you, so don't worry about it when they do. And like usual, if they're struggling, just shoot a shot off in the air, and they'll start coming back. These idiots are trying to shoot through this like steel container. It's never gonna work, bro. It's never gonna work Super easy way uh, any XP farming method involves executions is my favorite because it's super easy. Oh my gosh That guy just got murdered. I wasn't standing close enough And you don't have to go through a ton of ammo in case you miss there is one method where insanity you can hit fire and the hit fire is what gives you the eyes wide shut when you get that headshot with the hit fire but you miss a lot at least I do I don't know if there's a technique to good hit firing maybe one of you knows and you can let me know in the comments below but as far as I know I just end up missing a few times so I go through a lot of ammo it is good XP but you go through a lot of ammo this area is more sustainable because you don't end up going through so much ammo and it can last quite a bit longer so you can see here we get some of the cops stalled on the other side when you get one cop wrapping around the train cart. So when you can see on the mini map that he's kind of wrapping around, what you can do is you can stand over here and it'll drag him a little bit over onto this side, fire a shot or two, and then get back into location. The only time you really get stalled is when like a, a wave of the cops will come into the cart at one time. When you get three coming up the ladder, two up coming up the ladder, what that does is it prevents some of them from following suit because they're kind of spawned in like groups of three and four. So if you kill that wave too quickly, it'll prevent them from coming up the ladder. It looks like we got a little stalled area, but the good news is that as soon as we get these guys to really figure out how to come in here, we're gonna get them all at the same time, which will be easy XP. Okay, come on, buddy, come here. Yes, there you go. Show your platoon what you can do, the man that you are. Climb the ladder, you animal, you ferocious man. You will be created justice inside the Saint Denis. No, you won't. Oh, you're his friend? Sorry, but you won't accomplish this either. So, that's how that, that spawning works with the little area there um, with the with the mini map you can see that blocking that up now I, I have noticed that sometimes a bigger cart works better to block that ladder it just creates more space and it kind of forces the cops to come around a little bit faster so if you want them to come around a little bit faster get one of those two horse carts but then you have to kill two horses and shame on you man shame on you shame on me shame on me for killing a horse how cruel is that I can't believe it. Get out of here, bro. There's one cop over here that's being so hesitant. That's really messing me up. Nice. We got cops spawning on the pier now. This is this is good. You can see them over there spawning. Good stuff. Oh, here we go. Now we're about to get a lot of them. All right. Hallelujah. Come here. Give me the experience. This method is very safe compared to the Blackwater method. And... Because it's sand and eat, you may... Oh my gosh, as I say, it's really safe. I just get blasted. Because it's sand and eat, you do get more cops. So it's debatable whether or not this is a better method than the Blackwater Ticket Booth. I like the Blackwater Ticket Booth. Um, maybe... Maybe I'll test them out to see which one truly works better. Wow, I just tricked that guy. I thought I was going to kill him with the back, the shot to the back. But no, I shot him in the dome instead. Yes, sir. Once you get it going, man, they just start coming. Like, the cops just... This is a really... This is the best ladder method, like I said. It, I don't think it, it's beat by any other ladder method. The soloing out executions. Another nice part of... The, oh, my gosh. Another nice part of this one is that because you're kind of away from the other methods... For example, my minimap doesn't show other players' XP farming on it. It's very useful keeping the cops not distracted by other players. It's a good way you can XP farm in Sanity even if there is another player there. On top of that, if there isn't another player, 
it's still nice to come and use this method because then you can count on well if someone else comes here and wants to do xp farming they won't mess up my spot which the spots in the city can tend to get messed up when too many people come into the city and start roaming around and shooting cops it just it's not good as well as it's it's you have less of a chance to get griefed when you're hanging out over here rather than in the middle of the city where other players will just roam by you when they're going to the butcher or the uh, the gunsmith or the tailor and they just want to have a little fun so they grief you. You don't have as many players just roaming past you in this spot as you do in the other places. Let's see, how much XP have we got so far? Okay, so we've got probably like, I don't know, 600 since I started maybe? And that's just 10 minutes of doing it. The big downside to this method, you have to kill a horse. You guys, I think I'll be testing some of these methods out, true testing them to see which method truly is the best. I've only done them separately and haven't keep in great statistical analysis of how good they are. But this method is very safe. It's a great way to get those execution kills. And besides the occasional, I should be shooting more shots in the air, that should help. Besides the occasional lapses in these cops judgment and they can't figure out where you are, it works fairly consistently. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a better method, I'd love to see it. Make sure uh, if, if you wanna check out the person who originally found this, Blackwoods I believe is his name, we'll link him in the description. Um, great find, good method of gaining XP. Thank you guys so much for the recent support on the channel. It means so much. We've just blown up the last few days right in time uh, for Christmas, so I already got my Christmas gift. Thank you, appreciate you. Hope you have a good holiday and Christmas. Look forward to see you in the future and take care.